Buckle up your seatbelt and welcome to Ho Chi Minh City. Ho Chi Minh City is just pure madness. All your senses are alive like crazy here. I think it's impossible to have a dull moment at any time, day or night here. The traffic is insane. Even crossing the street is a, is a huge adventure and, and actually quite difficult. You kind of never know what you're going to come across here at any given time. In this video, I take you on your own private tour of Ho Chi Minh City. There is a lot to see and do here and most of it is in a pretty compact area centered around District 1. And actually, even a lot of the attractions that I thought were in District 1, like the War Remnants Museum, which is in District 3, is really just 5 or 10 minutes away. Uh, it's, it was so close, I, I thought it was in District 1. And that's actually where I'm going to start this video, at the War Remnants Museum, which is a must-see attraction for Ho Chi Minh City, for Saigon. And on that note, you will hear Ho Chi Minh City a lot and you will hear Saigon a lot. Saigon is the old name for the city and Ho Chi Minh City is the new name for the city. It was renamed after the Vietnam War. Now the War Remnants Museum itself is extremely moving and there was actually a number of people crying inside the museum. The museum contains exhibits from the first Indochina War and the Vietnam War. A lot of the photos and exhibits in the museum are very graphic. I learned a lot here though and would definitely recommend it to any visitor in Ho Chi Minh City. The outside part of the museum too, the, the courtyard surrounding the museum was, was really interesting as well as it had uh, all sorts of uh, US uh, tanks and planes and, and military equipment from the war. Another interesting attraction which actually has a lot to do with the war is Independence Palace which is uh, the famous scene that ended the war of the tank crashing through the front gate. Visitors can explore the inside of the palace and its grounds. But it is pretty neat even just to stand at the gates and uh, and to just imagine the tank crashing through those gates to end the war. After visiting Independence Palace, there are lots of other attractions right in the area. There's actually three attractions in District 1 that are basically right across the street from each other. So you kind of get three for the price of one. And actually, I think the price is free. I believe all three of these attractions are free to get into. The first of the three attractions that are basically right across the street from each other is the Central Post Office. You won't spend too much time here, but it is really nice to see the beautiful architecture of this old post office. Now 
Now, literally right across the street from the central post office is the Notre Dame Cathedral. It is currently under a lengthy renovation, but I believe you still can attend mass. The cathedral was constructed by the French between 1863 and 1880 and is one of the many French colonial buildings you can see around Saigon. The third attraction that's basically right across the street from both the post office and the Notre Dame Cathedral is Book Street. The entire street is filled with bookshops and cafes, so it's a really nice place to walk around. And if you're in the market for any books, this would be the place to get them. If you're looking to do some shopping while in Ho Chi Minh City, there are actually many modern malls in the city. A couple that I visited which were quite enjoyable was the Vincom Center and the Saigon Center. Both of them are huge and located right near the main tourist areas. There's also food courts in the lower level so you can grab a bite to eat while you're there. A third mall that I visited was Landmark 81, which is much more than just a mall. Landmark 81 is Vietnam's tallest building and has an observation deck on the 79th, 80th, and 81st floors. There's actually even a skating rink in the lower level of Landmark 81 where you can get some exercise and cool off from the super hot weather outside. When I was at Landmark 81, they had a really neat Godzilla X-Kong promotion outside. One of my favorite parks is also right across the street from Landmark 81. It is a quite large park and really well done, really well uh, manicured and, and landscaped and a great way to escape the constant chaos in Ho Chi Minh City. So Landmark 81 can actually be like a really good uh, day trip between the, the tallest building in Vietnam, the shopping mall, the skating rink and the park. You can actually spend uh, a lot of time there and, and all of it is, is quite enjoyable. The park is also right along the banks of the Saigon River, so it's quite nice to uh, walk along the, the riverside and uh, you can get some pretty nice views there. I do feel that in Ho Chi Minh City, going to parks and trying to get a bit of nature in such a big, busy city is pretty essential. So if you're into parks, uh, stick around to the end of the video and I'll actually have two bonus parks that are kind of a bit off the beaten path, but uh, definite nice places to visit when you want to escape the, the chaos of the city. I feel like Ho Chi Minh City is even more alive at night than it is in the day. 
if that can even be possible. But I think the extreme heat during the day has a lot of people coming out at, at night more than uh, in, in the middle of the day. I found one of the best places to go at night, whether you're with a family or solo, or it doesn't really matter what your level of fitness is, is a great pedestrian street that goes from the Saigon River up all the way to the Ho Chi Minh City Hall. The city hall is actually it's by itself one of the, the most beautiful things you can see along the walk, especially at, at night. And of course the statue of Ho Chi Minh, which is right in front of the city hall. Both of them look uh, really nice and are super fun and filled with energy at night. There are a number of hop-on, hop-off buses operating around Ho Chi Minh City. These can be a good way to get acquainted with the city and the layout of where the main attractions are. I would recommend going online and reading the reviews of the different companies though, because there are many different companies operating the buses. The other end of the pedestrian walkway is also really nice for a stroll at, at night along the Saigon River. I had mentioned earlier in the video that you were going to want to get yourself to a park to escape the chaos of the city. Well, here's an example of some midnight construction that I came across while there. Now would be a good time for the two bonus parks I had promised. The first one is called Van Tan Tourist Park and it's in the Bin Tan District. The park has a lake as you can see here. It also has restaurants and a public swimming pool. It's a decent size too. It's not massive but you can walk around in some, some nature and it, it really gets from super chaotic traffic and loudness to a, a nice uh, green park quite quickly once you enter here. I came here in a grab, it was really easy. And actually when it was time to go, I called another grab and I think there was one sitting right in the parking lot cause he took about 30 seconds to come in and pick me up. So it was, it was quite easy to get in and out of here even though it is a little ways out of district one. The park does show up on Google maps. Those are super cool looking. I'm not even sure they they look like they're human made they're so big or something but that is a strange symbol I'm not even sure what that means no dancing with aliens 
I have to look that word up. Oh, sows. The other bonus park I have for you is also not exactly in a tourist area, uh, but I found it on Google Maps and I took a grab both there and back as well. It is called Sala Park. It was quite beautiful and had a number of really nice walking paths along the little river. Everything was really well kept and it had a really interesting piece of architecture kind of in the middle of it, which I believe is a, a flower on like a pedestrian bridge going over top of the park. <laughs> really see there you are in a massive city still definitely a good job though they're done with this oh there's a koi jumping in the, the water there oh there's tons of them there well if the camera picks that up you can see i can see just standing here probably dozens and dozens of them 